Hello and welcome to a new video series on my channel. So in this series we are going to see how we can create a website using the leaf template for our vapor application. So this video series will be a continuation to the previous video series that I made where we created a basic backend application using vapor and swift language. So we will be using that same project and if you guys haven't followed that video I highly recommend that you do and then come back to this video series but if you still want to just continue learning how we can create a website using Leaf and Vapor technology, I will link the startup project for our backend application in the description of this video. So you can just go ahead and download it and you can continue it from there. So let's take a look at what Leaf actually is. So Leaf is a very powerful templating language which is used for Vapor and a templating language is what basically allows you to pass the information to the pages so that it can generate the final HTML without knowing everything up front. So for example, in our periodic table application, we don't know every single periodic element that the user will create when we deploy our applications. So templating will allow us to handle this with ease. And a templating language also allows us to reduce duplication of our web pages. So instead of creating multiple pages for our elements, we'll just create one single template and set the properties specific to displaying that particular element. So if you decide to change the way you want to display the element, we can go ahead and change the code only in one place and all the element pages will show the new format. And finally, templating language would also allow us to embed templates into other templates. So for example, if we have navigation on our website, we can create a single template that will generate the code for our navigation and we can embed the navigation template in all the templates that need navigation rather than duplicating that code. So let's open up the Xcode project that we created and we can just get started with this video. So let's quickly take a look at the hierarchy of our project. So in our project at the top level we have a package.swift file and in here we have to define what dependency we will be using in our project. So here we have currently defined the vapor and the PostgreSQL dependency. Then we have the sources folder and inside this we have the app folder and the run folder. And inside the app folder we have a controllers and models folder and in our models folder we are defining the class for each model that we wanted to create and in the controllers folder we had defined the root handlers for those specific models so all the get post and update delete requests were handled in the controllers folder and then we have our configure.swift and roots.swift file so roots.swift file is where we had registered all our controllers that we had created and finally, in configure.swift file, we had configured our database and our migrations. So let's just go back to package.swift file and here we can include the new leaf template that we wanted to use. So I'll just add a new package in the dependencies. And for the URL, I'll put the GitHub link to the leaf directory. And here we can just mention the version. And similarly in our targets, we can include the leaf framework here. Okay, great. So we can just save this file and we can close this project for now. And open up our terminal because we need to create some new files. So one thing that you always need to remember while you're working on the Vapor Framework is to always create your new files outside of the Xcode so that it's easier for the Swift Dependency Manager to better manage your project. So we'll just open up Terminal and here I'll just change the directory to our periodic table project and in here I'll just create a new directory so I'll use the mkdir function to create the new directory and this will be in the resources folder and finally I'll just create a new controller file for our website controller so I'll use the touch command of vapor and in the sources app controllers folder So I've created a new file named website controller in our controllers folder and then I'll just reload our Xcode project. So I'll use vapor xcode-y to recreate the project.
Okay, so our project has been recreated. Now let's just head to website controller.swift file that we have just created. So in our website controller.swift file that we just created, let's create a new object which can hold all the website routes and a route that returns an index template together. So I'll start off by importing Vapor and Leaf frameworks. And I can just create a structure which is called website controllers. And we can just define a new root handler, which is called index handler. Which will return a future view. And we'll just use the view methods render function. And up in the boot function, we can just register this new root that we just created. Which is a get path. So we have declared a new structure website controller which confirms to root collection and uh, if it's confirming to root collection then we have to implement a boot function which is required by root collection and we have registered a method called index handler to process a get request to the router's root path that is a request and the implementation of this index handler function returns a future view and I'll just change this to camel casing and then we are just rendering the index template and return the result. So the leaf framework will generate a page from template which is called index.leaf inside the resources slash views directory that we had just created. So after our website controller page is done, we can just go to resources and views folder and inside this we can create a new file. And I'll call this file index.leaf. So we have to specify the .leaf format in here. And in here we will be declaring a basic HTML5 page with a head and body. So before we do that, we can just go to editor, syntax coloring and change this to HTML. So now Xcode will be able to read an HTML file. So let's write a very basic HTML code in here. So here we have defined a very basic HTML page with a head and a body and both of them have the title hello world. Now let's open up roots.swift file and in here we can just register the new controller that we created. So I'll create a new object website controller. And I'll just register this to our router. And lastly, we'll go to configure.swift file. And here I'll just import leaf. And down here, right after this line, which is try services.register fluent postgres SQL provider, I'll add a new line to register the leaf provider services. So the generic view method is used to obtain a rendered allows us to switch to a different template engine very easily. And at the end of this configure.swift file, I'll just add a new line which will tell Vapor to use leaf renderer when asked for a view renderer type. Because in here in the website controller, we are using the view render method. So for that, we'll need to specify that. And we can go ahead and build and run our application. So our server has started on this URL and we can just copy this URL and test this out in the browser. So as you can see, our very basic website is now working. Our hello world page has been generated 
and now let's see how we can inject variables into our website so because the template is currently just a static page and uh, it's not very impressive so to make the page more dynamic we'll just open up index.lib file again and in the title tag I'll just add the title variable and in here we can add periodic table which is the name of our application so this will extract the parameters called title using the hash bracket leaf function like a lot of swift leaf also uses codable to handle the data now let's make some changes in our website controller.swift file so at the bottom of this file i'll just create a new structure called index context and this will follow the encodable protocol and it'll have a title value so as the data flows to into leaf you only need to confirm to encodable index context is the data from your view which is similar to the view model in the mvvm design pattern so next we'll just change this function and add our new title up here And down here in the render function, I'll just add this value that I just created. Now let's go ahead and build and run our application. And now if we refresh our browser, the title has changed to a dynamic type, which is controlled inside of our website controller view. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching in this video we have set up a very basic static website and uh, in the following videos i'll show you how we can create a very dynamic website using vapor and leave for templating so make sure you subscribe for that thank you